Hi, I'm Claire Long with the White Mountain National Forest. Take a look at the scene around you here. There are many fascinating stories happening right here in front of your eyes. To discover them, you just need to see the forest through the eyes of a naturalist. Come with me. Let's take this for example. What do you think caused this? The answer is coming up shortly. This is a great story here. If you come take a look close by, you can see some teeth marks here of New Hampshire's largest rodent, the beaver. And what the beaver does is they eat the inner bark of the tree. I don't know why the beaver stopped chewing on this tree. You can see the marks here, but take a look at what the tree has done. It's created almost a band-aid over this area to stop any insects or disease from getting in the tree and has allowed the tree to continue to grow. So even though part of the tree is open and exposed, this is a pretty healthy tree. You don't have to go very far in the forest to find another fascinating story. Here's one right here. This is called the white pine. The white pine is an evergreen tree, which means it keeps its needles all year long. That's why it's called evergreen. And you'll be able to identify what, that it's a white pine if you have five fingers. Because each one of these little needles in a bundle, it's called a bundle, there are five separate needles. One, W, H, two, three is I, four is T, and E, white. So five needles in this bundle, W-H-I-T-E, five fingers on your hand, white pine. Here's another fascinating story. The forest is home to many animals and you'll never know what you're gonna find in a hole. Let's take a look at this hole down here. Well, if you look inside, you're able to see that there are all sorts of little bits of seeds and little bits of other vegetation in there. What do you think could have been in there? It's actually one of the smallest rodents here in the White Mountain National Forest. It's the white-footed mouse living in here probably trying to escape from predators or trying to stay warm as the winter comes on. But it's also a safe place, a safe haven to have a lunch. Here's a fascinating pair that you find in the forest. This is called the lichen. And what a lichen is, it's two organisms that work together in order to be able to exist and to help break down parts of the forest. Here's a way to help you remember what a lichen is. Think of Alice algae, which is one of the organisms, and Freddy fungus, which is the other organism, took a lichen to each other, which means that those two organisms are working together in order to get nutrients from the, the material that's being broken down, as well as to photosynthesize through the light that's coming through the forest. It's fall here in the National Forest, and the leaves are starting to change color. That actually started right about the middle of the summer, during the summer solstice, but the trees are showing now the effects of it. What the trees are doing is as that light starts to change its angle, as it hits the earth, they put something called an abscission layer in between where the leaf is attached to the stem. And what that eventually does is this wonderful energy factory here stops photosynthesizing and eventually will fall off. So what we're seeing here, this yellow color is actually part of the leaf all the time. But that wonderful chlorophyll, that green color, stops producing and dies off and the true color of the leaf comes out from underneath it. While you're out walking in the woods, take a look for the different colors. This is the beach. This is the American beach. And what's really fun is when you go up and take a look at the leaf where that abscission layer is attached right to the branch, you get to see next year's leaf. And there's a whole story to be found in the winter just by taking a look at, at tree buds. These are just a few of the stories taking place all around us in the White Mountains. As you visit the National Forest, stop and get a closer look at the environment around you. Then you can discover the stories the forest has been waiting to share with you.